In the coming years, Whitworth College will continue to drive its coach and horses into the midst of all these intellectual parades. Labeled as too reckless by those on our right and too religious by those on our left, we will be faithful to George Whitworth's prayer of heart and mind. Hearts united by our faith in Jesus Christ and minds that crave truth and knowledge wherever they may be found. To Whitworth College, I pledge my best efforts and will do all that is within me to provide a strong wind at the back of these scholars so well equipped to enlighten our society and advance the kingdom of God. I offer this pledge in the redeeming and lightning name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Southern Ohio. Cela, Washington. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm from Enumclaw, Washington, kind of foothills of Mount Rainier. Uh, I'm from Moses Lake. Yeah, I would say Bill Robinson is um, a great example of a servant leader. He's kind of an awesome guy, literally. He is one of us, kind of. He knows everybody's name. He's always really friendly and really open with everyone. I've never actually even met Bill Robinson personally, but I have no doubt that he knows my name. I got to go on a run with B-Rob the first day I got to Whitworth. A very casual man, he rides his bike around and you'll see him in his jeans and t-shirt. How old is that guy? And I, he's I like, he's a beast. <laughs> and, but the best part was that even though I wasn't, I'm still not that much of an athlete, that he constantly encouraged you. Gives you a high five, gives you a little head nod. So you're like, wow, I'm cool, Bill knows me. So. <laughs> He's really great. We'd be like, oh, I saw B-Rob today, or I saw B-Rob and Bonnie across campus. His is gonna be a big gap to fill, for sure. So if we can find somebody that can fill B-Rob's gap, that's cool, but that's a big gap, you know? I wish he was my grandpa or my dad or something, so I could go hang out with him all the time. <laughs> the only personal encounter I've ever had with him was actually when I was biking back to my dorm. Uh, we had a sort of bike race on the way back. <laughs> he went flying past me and then I caught up to him and we talked for a few seconds and it was pretty cool. As most people do, I picture Bill Robinson on his bicycle <laughs> riding across campus. And I picture Bill in full academic regalia standing on the stage about to give a convocation address. When I picture Bill Robinson, I picture him standing in the field house at a basketball game or a volleyball game, usually surrounded by students. Whether it's golf, darts, or whether it's basketball, if he loves to be, you know, in the mix, you know, and that's, that's, that's fun. I wish I knew how he had that unique ability to make all of us feel like um, we're welcomed and his friend. I don't know how he does it, um, but it really is his defining feature. We want a culture in which every student feels that we are here for him or for her. Everybody kind of gets the campus culture, not because it's been propagandized, or coerced, but because it's simply simmering and, and, and moving. It's rare for a president to have the type of relationship with students that um, Dr. Robinson has, where he re not only remembers their name, but this open door policy. From his interest in spending time with students and in knowing how they're doing. Cameron, I did not <laughs> recognize you under that hat. Wow. All right, all right. Almost like a pastor of the campus and the community in some ways, not just a leader, but a pastor. That personal connection with students that B-Rob has, I think, has definitely become a part of the Whitworth DNA. Because Bill has been able to do it better than anyone I've ever seen at Whitworth, he's reminded us the importance of community and connectedness. One of the great things that both Bill and Bonnie have brought to the campus has been an ability to communicate to every person on the campus that they matter, that they're an important part of the community. I will glory with Jesus in the morning. 
So Bonnie has a, a presence that is certainly connected to me, and I benefit from that, and I appreciate that. But she also has one that's independent of me. She is a skilled musician. She is involved in students' lives in her own way. So for the campus community, um, she's just a person of just infinite kindness and grace. And she's been the greatest companion in this process of shaping an institution that Bill could have had. Wonderful asset. She has the baby and everybody shows up. Shepherds, Magi, I, some drummer boy beating it. <laughs> and what is that about? Mary smiled when he did his pa pum pum No, she didn't. She just given birth to a baby. She didn't want some kid beating a drum in it. This, this never happened. There was no drummer boy at the manger. <laughs>